Hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. teacher. Good morning. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> is it raining by your house? Yes. yes, it is. Right now, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Cima Cuatro is raining. Uh, Solo Urdes is raining. Yes. All right, and Marielos, you are San Salvador, right? Yes, Colonia Flor Blanca, it is raining over here. Okay, so, so maybe it's raining in the complete department of San Salvador. Yes, Marielos, are you living in Flor Blanca? Yes, I live ah. in, <laughs> near, the, near the, near the um, Parque Cuscatlán. Oh. Really, I, I, I work in, uh, my office is near to the, is in front of uh, Gimnasio Nacional de Alfa Pineda. Ah, okay. In front. I live. Uh -huh. Near to Close. the head. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wait a minute. You live, you, a minute. Li you live near Bl Estadio Cuscatlán, right? Uh, Flor no, Blanca. No. No, Parque Cuscatlán, Parque. Parque Cuscatlán. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember because you have never eaten panesticos. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, so, Alexander, your office is near. Yes. It's in front it's of. The, the, the Cuscatlán Park. Oh, okay. That's where Siget used to be, correct? Yes, but there are three Siget near, but uh, we're, um, we office is near the one's head, the second head. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah. What about him? That's um, Gimnasio Nacional, correct? No. Yes, exactly yeah. in front. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there in that in that gimnasio, I saw two great concerts. I ah. saw I saw Def Leppard. Uh huh. And Eros del Silencio. Okay, and number three? No, La no. Tracalosa, La Tracalosa de Monterrey. No. Um, <laughs> and, and number four, Los Tigres del Norte. I don't want to say, I don't want to say number three because it's embarrassing. <laughs> really? Why? Okay, I will say, but promise not to laugh. Because Im <laughs> okay, imagine, okay, imagine, okay. I said, imagine, I said Def Leppard, Eros del Silencio, and then number three was Chayang. Uh, <laughs> <really>? oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I went with my mother, my aunt. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Yes, I okay. didn't go because I, but you know what? The, the concert was good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I saw Juan Gabriel too in, in a long, long, long time ago. Oh. Ah, I, okay. I saw okay. Juan Gabriel in the gymnasium. That was a great con Yes, maybe maybe that's the best concert I have seen in my life. It was Juan Gabriel. Gabriel. It was mm -hmm. a great concert. Mm -hmm. He played, man, that man, he played maybe three hours. Really? And nonstop, like... Mm -hmm. I remember like the first 20 or 30 minutes, they were a little pop, mm -hmm. pop music, you know, and it was okay, you mm -hmm. know, like, pero que necesidad me? but then, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then he said, okay, El Salvador, do you want my mariachi? Yes. Do you want my mariachi? Yes. Okay, que entre mi mariachi, man, and he had like, like 15 mariachis <laughs> from each side, then they came in dancing. And then mm -hmm. it was a big party after that. It was, it was a great concert. Okay. It was good. I, I can say, yes, I saw Juan Gabriel in concert. <laughs> okay. It was a good concert. I liked it. Okay. What about you? Have I you ever went, gone to any concerts? I went uh, to see to Gimnasio Nacional to... Luis Miguel and mm. Vilma Palma and Vampiros. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Vilma Palma, I saw them. I saw Vilma uh -huh. Palma like two or three mm -hmm. times. But the first concert I went was uh, when I was eight years old. It yes. was um, um, Carlo, Roberto Carlos. The first time uh, he came to El Salvador. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> What happened to Roberto Carlos? Is he's sick, no? Or he's still alive? 
Yes, I think you is still, still alive. alive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, no, but my first, in general, my very, very first concert, I was 12 years old. It was Nirvana. Nirvana? Yes. In the United States? In the United States, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a good concert, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember there was a concert in El Salvador. This was maybe, maybe 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. It was called Monsters of Rock because there was the, the singer, the cantante de Toto. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. It was the guy from Toto, el de Tierra Rara, Rare Earth, el, el batero, el Pete, Pete, Peter, mm -hmm. I was see, uh, get ready, get ready. Mm -hmm. Ready, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, it was him. It was el que canta Black Magic Woman from Carlos Santana. Ah. I got a Black Magic Woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and, and um, Starship. Like mm -hmm. kind of thing, nothing's gonna stop us now. Well, mm -hmm. so it was, it was, and those were like the original members. They weren't the complete band, but mm -hmm. they were like original members. Uh -huh. So the, the concert was great because it was like five songs from every band. Ah, uh, okay. So it was mm -hmm. like, it was like, wow, we, we saw Toto, uh -huh. where, every, all the bands in one. Man, it was good when Toto sang Africa. Gonna find mm -hmm. you away from here. They sung that song maybe in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. In 10 minutes, because the he was, oh my god, thank you, El Salvador. And then they, uh -huh. they continued playing. It was a good concert. Okay. But my next concert is Bad Bunny. Oh <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, yes. Please, please. I don't I really I, I don't I I don't know what kind of music uh, think that Bad Bunny. Really, really, I don't know. But, but my my I don't know. My wife, or my daughter, told me it's like a a, a guy. So that guy so uh, sing like a, a bo, 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 bo. yes. I don't, know. I don't <laughs> understand. Really, it's a it's a singer. Yes. You know, okay. you know, I, I was I was talking to people. I was talking to my coworkers, young coworkers, and they tell me. Oh, because you're old, you're old. And I say, no, it's not because I am old. I like new bands. I like new groups. I like yeah. I like The Weeknd. The Weeknd is good. I like that Billie Eilish. I like her. She's good. But I tell her, what I tell them is that when I was a little child, I like music a lot. And, and the bands I listened to, like U2, Guns N' Roses, Metallica. And, you know, you respect like, wow, this is music. So I had yeah. this concept of music, of art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then yes. here comes these people that they don't write music. They don't mm -hmm. play instruments. And the voice is with computer. Yeah. And, really? and they, the, everything is, the music oh. today is everything contrary of my music. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a, a different... And I don't know, I don't know, but I think many women's, women, no, women's, I don't know, is they listen the content of the, 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 the lyrics of the, the music. song. Yes, yes. because a little of the music. Mm -hmm. Really, is it sad? Sometimes I think it's like a, a um, uh, let me see, is, is, it's not good for the women because they uh, the, the the lyric is about that the the women is a is a, a, a easy woman for example yeah. or i don't know if, mm. if the women hey, and, and, you, and you know what's funny it's like it's like they talk about how many women and what they're going to do and then you're my woman and all my women and this and that they disgrace women y cuando ganan el grammy they say bueno antes que nada le quiero agradecer a dios por esto like <laughs> oh my god no. that's no. that's not no yes it's like for example i don't like banda music i don't but when i listen to it i respect because they are yeah. artists mm -hmm. i don't yeah. what is what is that 
instrument called the big trumpet. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. that, that's kind of difficult to play. And when I see the band, it's like yeah. 40, 40 people in a band playing an instrument. Maybe I don't like mm -hmm. the music, but I do see the, the wow. talent. There is talent. Yeah. But yeah. Bad Bunny, man. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, I, I, rec I recommend you your next concert should be a uh, Kim Flip. Kim Flip. <laughs> no. There's going to be. No, no. Don't, Ivania, good, no. Ivania, no. Good, my way. Good. Don't talk, please. <laughs> no, there, there's going to be a free concert in Ivania's blog. Yeah. <laughs> in my house. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ivania's from Mora San Papa blog. No. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I I love going to concerts. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know who I saw in concert? I like the band, but mm -hmm. I saw them. Um, you know Air Supply? Yes. I saw Air Supply in concert. Mm -hmm. And I actually I actually met the singer. Mm -hmm. yeah by accident because um I, I i always liked the band but mm -hmm. the singer what happened is it was i think on a friday but there was a wedding and a wedding from one of our my cousins uh -huh. he was getting married but um and the concert was the next day uh -huh. and they are extremely, but like extremely evangelist. But I don't know, but the wedding was boring. I mean, there was no party. Mm -hmm. It was only a dinner. No party, really? no party, no liquor, nothing. <laughs> so with my other cousins, I was, hey, let's go to the bar. Oh my God, you know, just a little bit. You know, we, we had some beers. And the, he was there, the singer. Mm -hmm. But there were only like, in the bar, there were only maybe eight people. And I mm -hmm. saw him and I said, hey, but by this, I, I, I was maybe 24 years old. Mm -hmm. And I told him, hey, I am a big fan. I like your music. And he laughed. He says, you don't know me. I said, I do. I, my mother, I grew up listening. And I do. I really like Air Supply. I know all their songs. And I told him, yes, I, I really, I am, I am a fan. I can tell you three of my favorite songs. And he said, okay, mm -hmm. tell me. But he was playing, you know, and I told him three songs. And he says, hey, that's hey, good. Hey, hey. Hmm? hey, hey. Did you, 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 you are talking about, you know that there's a play guy. Yes, the singer. Yes. El Colocho. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I was telling him, it's a, a, it was very, they were there that night. I mean, the next day was the concert. And he told me, are you going to go tomorrow? And I said, no, uh, not, you know, I, I made up an excuse. So he told, go, man, I'll invite you. And he told his manager, oh, alguien le dijo ahí, manager, I don't know who. And he took my name. He said, come tomorrow in the front desk. I'll give you two tickets. <laughs> and, it, and you know what was, you know, the, no, but you know the sad part because I had two tickets. I start calling friends. Hey, but my air supply, I have no gang air supply. No, no. And I was single in that moment. I didn't have a girlfriend. Uh -huh. So, so uh, <laughs> I had to go with my friend because I begged them. Hey, let's go. Let's go. It was a good concert. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What maybe, about you? Maybe. Maybe that, that happened one time on the live. Yes, one time in the live. Um, yeah. and, and I took pictures because, um, uh -huh. it, well, it was a video camera. Uh huh. Uh huh. But the pro I don't know what happened, but it was a little cassette. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what happened to the video. Oh, uh, yeah. But it was good. All right. So let's go. Hey, it stopped raining by my house. What about by your house? It stopped raining too. Yes. Uh, Omi, yes. Omi, are you in a bus? Uh, good evening. Are you listening? 
Yes, I can hear you. Uh, yes, of course. I'm in the bus now. Is it a public transportation bus? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, okay, so be careful. Okay, so I understand you're only going to listen. Okay, perfect. Okay, be, be careful. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I find I finally talked to you. Wow, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, there's Roxana, there's Marvin, Mi Ma Mirna. Mirna, you get darker and darker every day, man. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes, my camera is a little dark. Okay. All right, so we're going to practice the perfect tenses. So before we start, here, let me share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. So I, I want you to use logic here. Mm -hmm. We understand present perfect. What is present perfect? Give me a simple explanation. I'm drinking hot tea right now. No, that's present progressive or present continuous. Mm -hmm. I'm saying present perfect. Is a start in the past in the finish in the uh, right now? Uh, no, because it hasn't finished. No, it's something that started in the past and is active now. It's active now. Let me give you a perfect example. Are you married, Alexander? Yes. How long have you been married? Uh, 18 years. Okay, 18 years. So 18 years ago, this action started. You're married life. Okay. So 18 years ago, your married life started and is still active today. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. But never mix the future because you don't know the future. Yes. Yes. So some people say it's an action that started in the past, continues to the present, and will finish in the future. Yes, it will finish in the future, but we don't know when. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, when you die. Yes. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> But you know, <laughs> so just stay in the present. So it's an action that started in the past and continues to the present. Okay. Yes. So you yes. have been married for 18 years. Ana Vilma, yes. where, where do you live? Oh, yes. You're in mute. Ana Vilma, uno, dos, uno, dos, one, two, three, go to three. Hola. Yes. <laughs> How long have you lived by the zoo? I've been living. No, I have lived. I have lived since four years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, ago, no, it's not correct. When you say ago, it's simple past. That doesn't exist anymore. Okay. I went, yeah. I went to the air supply concert 20 years ago. It's not correct, or yes? I mean, yes, it's correct, but that's simple past. It's not present perfect. Okay. The, the word ago is extremely past. That mm -hmm. doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So what, what I want to know is present perfect. Mm -hmm. So you said four years or 40 years? 40 years. 40, 40. Yes. How old are you? You don't look like. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. 41. Oh, okay. Hmm? Look 41. at 31. Yes, 41. You, look, you look like in your 30s. Okay. Thank but, you. but like from, <laughs> she started living in, in so you have lived in, in by the zoo all your life. Yes, all my life. Yeah. Yes. All right, okay. So, simple, right? That is present perfect. The action started, the action continues to now. Okay. Yes, do we understand? Any questions on present perfect? Okay. Is, 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 is give, I, me, uh -huh. give, give me an example, teacher. Okay, you 
what is the name of the beauty salon where you work? Estilo Salon. How long have you worked in Estilo's salon? Uh, about one year. But I need you to answer complete. Uh, I have been working. I have worked. Uh, um, <laughs> I have worked uh, for um, one year. Okay, good. I have worked in Estilo's salon one year. Good. Um, Ivania, how long have you worked in the ministerio? How long have you worked in the government? Since uh, 2017. But answer complete, please. I have worked in at Ministerio de Hacienda since 2017. Okay, good. All right. So do you see that? So Nuri, your life in, in, in Estilos started one year ago and you still work there. So I have worked in Estilos for one year. Ivan, uh, Ivania has worked in El Ministerio for since 2017 or for five years. Okay, I got it. All right. That is called present perfect. Why it's called present perfect, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's a big question for me because I never understood present perfect. I, why? I don't know. But mm -hmm. in Spanish, I mean, presente perfecto. And now this is why, this is why you need to know the difference between all the tenses. Remember mm -hmm. the example I gave you yesterday uh, that lady, uh, my student, teacher, teacher, ayúdeme, no entiendo el futuro. El, ¿Cuál futuro está viendo? O sea, el futuro. Ay, el futuro, teacher, el futuro. Oh, man, there are many futures. Por ejemplo, now there are many presents. Yes? Mm -hmm. Si el inglés solo fuera pasado, presente y futuro simple, todo el mundo fuera bilingüe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But it's similar like in Spanish. Imagínense. Yo, com yo comí. Yo había comido. Yo estaba comiendo. Yo habré co comido. Yo hubiese comido. <laughs> Only that, that's like six. Y son tiempos. Y pasados. So. Okay. So that is present perfect. Let's see the video. Now, it says here, present continuous, present perfect, and the future. What is present continuous? Uh, I, uh, I am uh, present continuous. I am working in my office. Okay. What, what am I doing right now? Uh, right now, study. Mm -hmm. Coffee. You are teaching. I am teaching. I am drinking a cup of coffee. coffee. We are learning. <laughs> coffee or maybe tequila, you don't know. <laughs> Do you want to see my, my, my cup? It's very funny. Look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Do you understand the joke? The the far far farther. Uh-huh. Wow. No, it's for the, the Father Day. I yes, can... but look, what does it say in red? Uh -huh. Father. No, wait, wait. No, no, no. What I'm blocking right now. What does that say here? Far. Uh, fart. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you know what is? I'm sorry. Do you know what is a fart? Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's a gas, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in yeah. English, esto, esto, esto es gramática. Miren, si le agregamos, okay, fart es un ventoso. En inglés es un verbo. Si a un verbo le agregamos er, se convierte en persona. Mm -hmm. Example, drive. What is drive? 
Uh, driver. Uh, what, driver. Yeah, but what is drive? Conducir. So what is driver? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Y como farther and farther sounds similar. Uh, I confuse a little. I I read farther, but it's far. Farther. Farther. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was funny. I, I like it. Yeah, so remember that. If a verb, if you put ER at the end, it becomes a noun. It becomes a, the person. Oh, okay. okay. Like, for example, play. Jugar. Ah, so what is player? Player. player. Ah, okay. Good. Okay, so um, what was I going to say? Oh, present continuous. Present continuous is the easiest present. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's two ways. It's called present continuous or present progressive. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Personally, I like to say present progressive. Why? Because the action mm -hmm. is in present and the action is in progress. Mm -hmm. So the action is now in this moment. Mm -hmm. For example, now in this moment, I am drinking coffee. Ah, but oh, really? Coffee? <laughs> yeah. No, but the, the problem is it was coffee from the afternoon. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, hey, cheers. Okay. Um, <laughs> what verb is this? Imagine. Smoking. Smoking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see who's doing an action right now. What is Omi doing? Omi doing. Omi Yames. She's traveling, yes. Uh, yeah. She's traveling or she's riding the bus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So remember, it's, it's an action in present and progress. Okay. Okay. So what verb is this? What verb is this? It's smoke. Okay. I am smoking. Mm -hmm. What verb is this? Sleeping. Sleeping. I am, I am sleeping. Good. Mm -hmm. What verb is this? Thinking. Wasting, Wasting your time. <laughs> Thinking. Thinking. Oh. Thinking. Uh, no. Resting. No, resting. Actually, actually, I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but but listen, can you say wanting? No. No. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yes, I you, you, you can't say, but I can't believe I am wanting. Uh -huh. Why not? I don't know. Let me explain to you why. One more time. What verb is this? Drinking. Drinking. What verb is this? Smoking. Uh, what verb is this? Sleeping. Okay, why, why did you say drinking? Why did you say smoking? And why did you say sleeping? Because we can see the action. Exactly. You see the verb. Mm -hmm. If you see the verb, the verb is an action verb. Mm -hmm. If the verb is an action verb, it can put ing. Mm -hmm. If you don't see the verb, no ing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can't say want, I am wanting. Mm -hmm. You can't say I am needing. Mm -hmm. You can't say I am needing. Uh, yeah, needing. No. But 
Y saben que es lo mismo en español. Lo único que en español lo usamos y bien, bien mal. En español decimos, mira, desde hace ratos que estoy queriendo hablar contigo. You can't say queriendo. You can't say queriendo. Lo decimos, but we don't. It's not, it's not. It's not correct. Igual en español, si el verbo se ve, lleva ando endo. Si no se ve, se queda en forma simple. Entonces, no, la forma correcta sería, desde hace ratos que quiero hablar contigo. Por eso, mira, estoy queriendo hablar con vos desde, desde ayer. Estoy queriendo, you can't. Entonces, no es correcto. No, grammatically no. No. Es un error gramatical, pero no es grave, grave como decir de uh -huh. hoy. Uh -huh. Mucho menos la, las canciones estoy bueno, queriendo no, te querer. Actually, de hoy no es un error gramatical porque es caliche, uh -huh. es, es uh -huh. autóctono. No, como de, más mejor, más mejor. Ok, da. Eso sí es un error uh -huh. gramatical. Uh -huh. Te dije mucho mejor. Ya, yeah, es mucho mejor. Sure. Yes, sir. What, what about love? You can say loving? No. Grammatically, it's not correct. Mm -hmm. But yes, you will hear it. People say it. Como en español. Estoy queriendo. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still loving you. <laughs> the song. The scorpions. Mm -hmm. No, like, yeah. Rem so remember. Action verbs are the verbs you see. Okay. Okay. I don't okay. need to talk. You see the verb drink. You mm -hmm. see the verb smoke. Mm -hmm. You see the verb sleep. Yes. There are some verbs that you don't see. No ing. So remember, present continuous is an action now in progress. So it's very simple. It's only four things. I am the verb and the complement only. I am teaching a class. Omi, she is riding the bus. Yes. Is this correct in this moment? Nuri is working in estilos. Mm. No. No, it's not correct. Oh. No. She's not there. Oh, uh -huh, she's not there. So she works in estilos. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is present continuous. And now we have the future. Listen, the simple future is very easy. Dice la palabra, simple. When you speak simple future, don't complicate yourself. What are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to work tomorrow. I am going to visit my friends tomorrow. Yes? Mm -hmm. Don't complicate yourself. No digan, ¿qué van a hacer mañana? Es que no sé, depende, porque si está lloviendo bien fuerte, quizás no voy a ir a trabajar, porque fíjate que no podemos ir. Yeah, no, come on, man. Yeah. Eso, that's not simple future. That's a, that's a, that's a advanced conversation. La palabra dice okay. simple future. Now, we have two futures. Vamos a ver. Alguien me puede decir que la diferencia de maybe Nuri knows this porque creo que se lo enseñé la, semana, la, la vez pasada, pero alguien, ¿qué es la diferencia si alguien les pregunta? Hey, tú hablar español, sí, yo, yo no, ¿de dónde ser tú, El Salvador? Yo no entender, ¿por qué se dice yo comeré y yo voy a comer? ¿Qué es la diferencia? ¿Cómo le explicarán a este pobre persona que está estudiando español? Yo comeré y yo voy a comer. Isa. <laughs> uh, 
I like your face right now. Sir. <laughs> everybody, everybody's like. <laughs> it's, it, it's the same, no? Excuse me. Y cuando decimos voy a comer, es como que el tiempo más corto, pero siempre en el futuro. Y cuando dice yo voy a comer, o sea, un tiempo un poco más. Ok, ok. En inglés, en inglés es I am going to eat y I will eat. Se los prometo que hasta que yo empecé a dar clases de inglés, es bien chivo, cuando alguien empieza a dar clases de inglés, los primeros meses o años, el teacher aprende más que el alumno, porque me queda, ah, oh, pues, oh, ok, this is why. Oh, yo no sabía esto hasta que empecé a dar clases. Pero sí, todos sabemos, como dice Omi, todos sabemos cuando sale, yo, yo comeré, yo voy a comer. Yo. The difference is very, very big and very, very small. Sometimes it's not important, the difference. Mm -hmm. Let me see. ¿Quién ha visto una película cuando el hombre le propone matrimonio a la mujer? O la mujer al hombre, o el hombre al hombre, o mujer a mujer. Pero ¿cómo, cómo dicen siempre? You want to marry me? Will marry me. Will, will you, you marry, marry me? me? Will you marry me? Will, ahí marry sí me. es, will you. ¿Alguna vez han oído que dicen, are you going to marry me? <laughs> no. no. Or just marry me. Yeah, just marry me. En español, mm -hmm. ¿te casarás conmigo? ¿Te casarías mm -hmm. conmigo? Cásate ¿Sale? conmigo. Cásate mm -hmm. conmigo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Ahí sí es importante la diferencia. Se la palabra es bien simple. Will es voluntad. Es un compromiso. Mm -hmm. Going to es un plan. Mm -hmm. Mañana vamos a ir a, cenar, a almorzar con mi esposa. Es un plan y es un compromiso porque ya quedamos. Mm -hmm. yes. Entonces puedo decir, oh man, tomorrow I will, I will eat lunch with my, with my wife. And tomorrow I'm going to eat lunch with my wife. It's the two. It's a plan y es un compromiso. O sea que si alguien me invita mañana a la hora de almuerzo o algo, no, no puedo porque es que iré con mi esposa a almorzar ya, ya. Ya estoy comprometido. ¿Yes? Mm. Ahora, los planes mm. obviamente pueden cambiar y todo eso, ¿yes? Pero por eso es que cuando dicen, will you marry me? Lo ideal es que la respuesta sea, yes, I will. Sí, lo haré. Me estoy comprometiendo. Hey, teacher, but yes. I, I thought... I, I thought I will is a possible. And I no, don't to, I am sure. No, no, For, forget about possibility that maybe, maybe, no. The two are future. The mm -hmm. only difference is will is a compromise. Mm -hmm. Un compromiso. Yes. Going to is a plan. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. I am married, but imagine, imagine I am not. Ivania, excuse me, can you imagine you're my girlfriend? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this, this is an example. So, hey, Ivania is my girlfriend, you know, vamos a casar. Oh, really? When? I don't know, maybe, maybe next year. Maybe next year we're going to get married. Is this a, se suena un plan or a compromise or un compromiso? A plan. A plan. A plan. A plan. So right there is, 
Ivani and I are going to get married maybe next year or the next, or maybe in five years. It's a plan. Mm -hmm. But imagine last night I said, Ivania, will you marry me? And she said, yes. Uh, and we made, ah, okay, good. Ya reservamos el hotel. Eh, vaya va a ser el 1 de noviembre. Crown Plaza at 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> you so are I'm, invited, guys. <laughs> everybody is invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't make plans because you will be invited to our wedding. Van a ir? Will you go? Of course. How do you say regalo es sobre, teacher? <laughs> Envelope. <laughs> we we yes. appreciate like gift. Envelope. Gift in an envelope. Mm -hmm. Gift in an envelope. Pero igual, allá la mayoría de gente ya solo dinero da. So listen, van a ir? Irán? Will you go? Yes, mm -hmm. we will. Yes, we will. Okay, good. Se están comprometiendo. No es algo serio, o sea, pero se están comprometiendo. Que irán. That is the difference. So, regresando. Ivania and I are going to get married maybe in five years. It's a plan. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Pero como hoy ya tenemos hotel, fecha, día y hora... Uh, yes, oh yeah, we will get married November 1st in Crown Plaza Hotel at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Va a cantar Michael Bublé. La ceremonia va a cantar No, Kimfling. No, ceremony. Michael Five. <laughs> that was the surprise, King Flip. Uh, <laughs> so, so one more time, listen. So, I don't even deal. The difference is really not that important, but sometimes it is important. Nunca le han pasado cuando están, hey, ¿quién va a ir a traer a mi mamá sin paja? ¿Quién la va a ir a traer? I will. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí sería más I will because se está ofreciendo uno, se está comprometiendo uno. Yes. Yes. Hey, really, man. Imagine we are six brothers. Mm -hmm. And no, and my mother needs to be in, in from the hospital. Hey, come on, man. ¿Quién va a traer a mi mamá? Mm. Carlos, mm -hmm. no, I can't because really nobody. Okay, I will go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí es serio lo que están haciendo. You're compromising. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so do you understand? Lo mismo es en español. Cuando el verbo termina en hará o ere, es la versión de will. I will mm -hmm. go, yo iré. Mm -hmm. I will mm -hmm. eat, yo comeré. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go, yo voy a ir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Es como, hey, llueva o tiemble o hay fuego, pero no, yo iré a su cumpleaños. Yes. Rain or, rain or snow, I will go to your birthday. So do you understand the difference now? Yes. So it's, re it's really not a possibility a probability, yes, maybe, but the most important difference is the two are future is the same story. The only difference is el grado de compromiso. Compromise or plan? It's a, it's a plan or it's a compromise. And that's a perfect example because Ivania is my girlfriend. Y yo le estoy dando paja ya que nos vamos a casar, right? <laughs> so we're, oh yeah, I love you. I love you. She loves me. We're going to get married. That's the plan. Yes, pero yo quizá ni estoy serio. Voy a estar Where serio. Is the cuando... ring? Where is the ring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when, when there's a ring, now that, that's like more serious. I know it's <laughs> Ivania, will you marry me? Y ahí, si se dan cuenta, siempre va a ser will you. 
Mm-hmm. With the plastic ring. <laughs> with, a, <laughs> with a plastic Surprise. ring. Surprise. Uh, <laughs> a ring, a ring pop. <laughs> okay, so no lo quiero confundir mucho, pero esa es la diferencia. Yo iré, yo voy a ir. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Hoy, hoy expliquémosle al gringo. ¿Qué es, ¿Por qué a veces gente dice yo voy a comer y yo comeré? Ah, porque es un grado, es qué tan serio está. Si, si es un plan que tú tienes, vas a ir a la playa. Ok, vas a ir. Pero si alguien te invita a una boda, irás ese día. Porque te has comprometido. Oh, ok. Yes. Ok, do you understand the difference now in future? I will go and I'm going to go. Ok. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. So. Um, 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 wow, El Salvador va ganando 1 a 0. <laughs> wow, hoy sí, hoy van ganando. Now that it's not important. Okay, let's watch the video. Ah, okay, listen to this. Bad Bunny is going to come or Bad Bunny will come in November? He will come. He will come. Hasta el momento ya está comprometido en su agenda que vendrá, right? Mm -hmm. um, remember, but maybe a, there can be a change, but for the moment, he will come. Yes. ¿Saben cuál es un plan ahorita? Maybe who is going to come is Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm -hmm. Yes, hay un rumor, a rumor that maybe mm -hmm. hot chili peppers are going to come. Really? Yes. Hey, for the moment is maybe they are going to come. Mm -hmm. Ya cuando hay fecha y todo, hey, yes, man, red hot chili peppers will mm -hmm. come in January. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Se acuerda la pobre gente que cuando iba a venir Kiss. Todos uh -huh. se quedaron con la el ticket pero que es ya o sea ellos ya estaban comprometidos a venir pero el COVID mm -hmm. yeah. ah yes it's true yes remember kiss yes yes <laughs> que la madre decía hay más probabilidad de ver a Maradona que a Kiss <laughs> con, con, <laughs> as, cuando el COVID iba yes ok uh -huh. All right, let's watch this video. I'm sorry, do you have any questions? Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I understand. All right. So remember, mañana, like I said, lunch with my with my wife. I'm, I'm sorry, Vanya, I'm married. So I, okay. <laughs> <Yes>. I'm sad. <laughs> yes. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> So to and, and this was is my opportunity. Yes. <laughs> but but I, I don't love her. <laughs> I, oh my God. I, I, I am only with her for my son. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the number one excuse of every man. Right? Yeah, yes. the same excuse. <laughs> I have a friend, she has had her boyfriend for six years. Six years, and her boyfriend is married. Pero, <gasps> yes, but es que él no la ama, está por los niños. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but anyways, so tomorrow I have yeah. a plan and I have a compromise. Ahí no está importante because, I mean, it is important because it's my wife, but, <laughs> but you know, I mean, <laughs> we, we frequently have lunch. Mm -hmm. Maybe one or two times a week, we frequently have lunch, you know, so. Hey, um, teacher, vamos a uh, andar en caballo mañana. No, I can't because tomorrow I will have lunch with my wife. Or tomorrow I'm going to have lunch with my wife. In this mm -hmm. case, like I told you, sometimes the difference is not important. Mm -hmm. 
Pero imagine, no, I can't porque tengo una operación mañana. Ahí, ¿quién cree que sería? Uh, I will have an operation tomorrow or I'm going to have an operation tomorrow. We'll have. Yeah. Uh, yo diría, no, I can't because tomorrow I will go to the hospital. I will mm -hmm. have a heart up, <laughs> a open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y eso sí no lo puedo cancelar. You know, like, hey, doctor, you know what? Maybe next Monday. <laughs> yeah. With my wife, yes. You know, hey, mama, mira, I'm... mejor hagamos mañana. Okay, well, whatever. Yes. All right, so that's the difference compromise and a plan. Como Moisés Urbina, que siempre dice, mañana lloverá todo el día. Mm -hmm. <laughs> un día vi que dijo, mañana, un día normal, de, dijo, mañana por las mañanas estará el clima cálido, fresco. Por la tarde estará más calor y fresco nuevamente por la noche. <laughs> Me quedé like, really, man? <laughs> wow <laughs> wow that's very intelligent okay let's oh yeah let me. stay and learn how to use it in present continuous present perfect and future passive of present continuous present perfect future Use this passive tenses for action where the emphasis is on the object of the action. Use the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Use the passive of the present perfect for recently completed actions. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Use will plus passive or be going to plus passive for actions that will begin in the future. More computers will be affected by viruses. More healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. Alguien aquí me estaba diciendo del nuevo estadio, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde va a ser construido? Mm, in the X. Okay, good. Um, yes, that's official. Oh, uh, apparently, yes. Okay, okay. So if it is official, the new stadium will be built mm -hmm. in ex military school. Mm -hmm. If it is official. Mm -hmm. If it's a rumor, the new mm -hmm. stadium is going to be built in mm -hmm. the Militar or maybe mm -hmm. Soyapango. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here it says number one, use the passive of present continuous. For ongoing actions, let's use the passives. Okay, uh, what is happening to all the Mareros in this moment? Jaden? There are jailing? Jail, jail is not a verb. Ah, okay. Uh, no, it's, it's an example like a one, no, one but, thing. But, yeah, but let, <laughs> okay, wait, let, let me give an example. Um, okay. The government or the police are arresting all the Mareros in this moment. Mm -hmm. That is active. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, and to say do you know the difference between active and passive voice? In my case, no. I have a big problem with the passive voice. Where is my grammar girl, Roxana? <laughs> what is the difference between active and passive voice? 
Oh, I remember the active voice is when the the subject uh, uh, perform the action of the verb. Okay. And it's interactive. And the passive is when the the object is perform the action of the verb. Okay. So let me give you a simple example. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Okay. Everybody understands that, right? We see the cat mm -hmm. is going to eat the mouse. Mm -hmm. And, or another way of saying is the mouse is going to be eaten, eaten. by the cat. By the cat. Mm -hmm. The same story? Uh, but, the, but the principal actor is a different, because before it's, is the the cat eat the mouse? The other, hey, the mouse says, "Hey, the cat is, is eating me." Like that? Yes, but does the story change? No, no, no. The mouse is dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What changes the place? Like Roxana said, the subject and the object, right? Mm -hmm. So let me give you two explanations: the grammatical and the logical. Mm -hmm. The grammatical explanation is the cat is going to eat the mouse. We have the subject does the action, object receives the action. Mm -hmm. Who's going to do the action? The cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's going to receive the action? The mouse. Mm -hmm. The mouse is the object. Mm -hmm. The cat is the subject. So, ¿qué va primero aquí? The cat is going to eat the mouse. What's first? Subject. Oh, yeah. Good. That is an active voice. This an active voice is when we put the subject first and the object last. Now let's change. Oh man, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. What is first now? Mm -hmm. Mouse. The object. The object. Yes, the mouse. The object. Now the object is first and the subject is last. The story is the same. Mm -hmm. El tiempo es el mismo. The subject and object is the same. What changes is the subject and the object. Mm -hmm. All right? So a passive voice is when we put the, pass the object first and the subject last. Mm -hmm. The example is the cat eating? No, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Irónicamente es lo mismo en español. El gato se va a comer el ratón y el ratón va a ser comido por el gato. Pero es bien raro, casi nadie dice eso. Y mira, el ratón va a ser comido por el gato. No. But it's correct. Entonces, ¿por qué se llama active voice? Porque la mayoría de veces, maybe 80% of the time, we speak active. It's more common. So, that is the grammar explanation. Now, what is the logical explanation? La explicación lógica es ¿A quién le quieren dar la importancia ustedes? ¿Al gato o al ratón? So, if you want to make the cat important, speak active. Hey, hey, man, look, 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 the cat is going to eat the mouse. If you want to make the mouse important, oh my God, oh my God, mira, 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 the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Make passive. Y dejémonos de mentira que a veces hablamos pasivo. Nunca les ha pasado que <coughs> yo he sido invitado a una cena de gala por parte de la gerencia. Cuando uno le presume en frente a sus compañeros. Eh. Yo he ganado empleado del mes. Yo he. So imagine that. Hey, ¿Qué pasó? No, he sido invitado a, a una cena de gala por parte de la gerencia. Is that active or passive? I have been invited to a special dinner by management. Passive. 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 Okay, good. So listen to this. 
I have been invited to a, uh, a special dinner by the president of the company. It's passive. What is the active? The company? The person. Mm -hmm. oh, the president. Has, mm -hmm. Have invited you. <laughs> has invited me to a dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the story is the same, but you know, sometimes a uno le gusta presumir. Es que te dijeron, no. Ah, que he sido elegido. Entre 100 he sido elegido como el mejor y el más guapo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. So that, that is the difference between active and passive. It's who you want to make important. So, hablemos present continuous. The police is arresting all the mareros in El Salvador. Active or passive? Active. Active, active. excellent class. What is the subject? The police. the police. And the object? The mareros. Mareros, okay, good. Now, give me that sentence in passive. The, the mareros are arrested by the are, police. Okay, good. Are being. Are being. Are being arrested by the police. Very good. Si se dan cuenta, este lo hemos hablado en, hasta en español. Se dice las dos formas. Pues a la policía está metiendo preso a todos los mareros. O decimos, man, todos los mareros están siendo arrestados por la policía. Mm -hmm. sí. Este mm -hmm. sí se, ¿verdad que ya lo hemos oído las dos versiones? Yes. Is yeah. who, aquí, is, yes, what do you want to make more important, the subject or the object? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, in this case, mm -hmm. hey, what's going on in El Salvador? Oh, nothing. Like all the gang members, eh, miembro de gangas, de pandillas, all the gang members are being arrested by the police. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hey, what's happening in El Salvador? Oh, nothing. I mean, all the, the police is arresting all the gang members. Hey, that's good. That's good. Yes? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Excellent. Okay, tomorrow we're going to practice this. Okay. Okay, okay. teacher. Yo le voy a decir un activo y usted me lo dice un pasivo o viceversa entre ustedes. All right? Okay. okay. Thank you. Espero hayan aprendido cosas nuevas hoy. Yes, okay. of course. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, -bye. Bye. 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 Bye Vania. Bye, I'm sorry I broke your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.